So in this nugget, we'll look at a call flow where Savannah calls Mariah and actually puts her on hold. We'll see a lot of the same messages just like the last call flow, but this time we'll see some additional SIP messages. So here we see the invite from Savannah's phone. Then we see the trine from CUCM that's sent to Savannah's phone. Then we see a subscribe from CUCM to Savannah's phone. Now in the previous call flow, we didn't see this because I dialed 1000 and those digits went at the same time. So M block. So by M block, we're saying that all the digits were sent at the same time. They're sent over in a single invite. So let's jump back to this invite and take a peek at it. So when looking at this invite, we see in the two field, the number one. So Savannah's phone sent that one to CUCM, then CUCM responded with a trine, and then we see this subscribe, and what are we subscribing to? KPML events. Here's this subscribe event, and we have a sequence number of 101. We are subscribing to KPML events. Then Savannah's phone sends a 200 OK to, to that request, which was to subscribe. So if you remember, Mariah's extension is 1001. So CUCM already knows about the one. Each notify, which we'll see here shortly, are digits being pressed. And this will complete the 1001. So here is one of those notifies. As you can see, it's incoming to CUCM from the IP address of Savannah's phone. The event is KPML. And we can see here that the digits are zero. And since this notify is a request, you see the sequence number of 1001. We'll go find the notify message where I send a one over and you'll see the sequence number change. So here's the notify. The one is being pressed and this sequence number is 1003. So once CUCM finds a match for 1001, it sends a termination to that subscription. So here we see the subscribe. This is a new request. So it's 102 and notice the expire is equal to zero. So here's the 200 OK sent to that subscribe request. So at this point, CUCM attempts to complete that call to Mariah. So you see the invite being sent out. Mariah then sends a 100 trying. Then Savannah's phone finally terminates their previous KPML subscription. So this is related to this subscribe that had the expiration of zero. And when we look at that notify, notice this is a new request. The event is for KPML. And you see the subscription state has terminated. The reason being, it timed out. So then the CUCM sends a 200 OK to that notify request. We have our 180 ringing from Mariah's phone to CUCM. Then CUCM sends a 180 ringing to Savannah's phone. Then Mariah responds to the invite sent by CUCM. CUCM then sends the ACK to that invite. Then a 200 OK is sent from CUCM to complete that invite that Savannah had sent earlier. Then Savannah's phone sends the act. At this point, the call is pinned up and complete between Savannah and Mariah. So let's see what happens when Savannah decides to put on hold. So now we see a re-invite being sent from Savannah's phone. And we're using a re-invite because we already have a session established between Savannah and Mariah. So here's a re-invite. And one indication that this is there is a re-invite. Not only do we have a tag in the from field, but we also have a tag from the to field. So as we scroll down, we'll see that this message also has SDP. And here we see the attribute send only. So what this is telling us is that Savannah's phone wants to send, but not receive media. Then we have a trine from CUCM to Savannah. Then we have a 200 OK from CUCM to Savannah. But notice we have the word here inactive. So this is outgoing from CUCM to Savannah's phone. It's a 200 OK. So this is a response to that invite. And for connection, we're seeing all zeros. This in essence is stopping the media. And then if we scroll further down, we see that the attribute is inactive. Inactive meaning that we would not, or we're not going to send or receive media. So you see this is an invite to tear down the session between Savannah and Mariah. So we see a re-invite, which we'll take a look at. We see a 100 trine. We'll see a 200 OK sent to this request for the re-invite. Then we'll see the act. So here's the re-invite. And how we know this is a re-invite, because not only does the from have a tag, but the to also has a tag. And if you scroll down here, 
we see the four zeros, again, which is stopping the media. And then we also see inactive. We see the 200 OK incoming to CUCM from Mariah's phone. This is in response to the pre-invite that was sent. And then we see the add to that 200 OK. So again, here we see the teardown of that media stream. Next, we see the music on hold that's sent to Mariah's phone. So here's the re-invite from CUCM to Mariah's phone. So we see the tag in the from and to Heather. So that's how we know we have a re-invite. So we just took a look at the re-invite. Then we get a 100 trying from Mariah. Then we get a 200 OK. And now we'll take a look at this act. Notice that this act that's being sent from CUCM to Mariah's phone has an IP address in the connection for 10.04.1. So this is the CUCM publisher. This line tells us where the media is coming from. And I say coming from because we have send only. And you may be thinking, well, what are we sending? This port of 4000 tells us that this is music on hold. So with this message, we are providing music on hold to Mariah. So at this point, Savannah takes the call off hold. So we see a written byte. CUCM says 100 trying. Then we have another re-invite. Then we have 100 trying from Mariah. She sends a 200 OK. And then CUCM sends an act to Mariah's phone. This, in essence, is stopping the media, in this case, music on hold, being sent to Mariah's phone. And that's an invite comes from CUCM to Mariah so it can resume that media stream to Savannah. We get a 100 trying. We get a 200 OK, which is a response to the request of the invite. So we'll take a look at that 200 OK sent by Mariah's phone. So it is 200 OK being sent to CUCM from Mariah's phone is in response to that invite. And since we have content linked here, that means we have STP in the body of this invite. Here we have the attribute that we want to send and receive media streams. Then here's the act that's coming from CUCM to Mariah's phone. We now have the IP address of Savannah's phone. So this is where the media should go to and come from. There's our UDP port. Then we have a 200 OK sent from CUCM to Savannah's phone. And then we have the act in response to that 200 OK. So at this point, we have reestablished that stream between Savannah and Mariah. Then we see that Mariah terminates this call because we see a buy coming from Mariah to CUCM. So that buy is sent to Savannah's phone. We get the OK in response to this request. So the OK is sent from CUCM to Mariah. Then we see the OK coming here from Savannah to CUCM. So that completes the set call flow in a call sample where the call was established. Then the call is put on a hold and later terminated. Again, I can't stress enough, the more you look at these messages, the better off you are because it starts to become more sick in nature. So if you're looking at this worried or it's a little bit fuzzy, no worries, we all go through it. As you look at these more, you will get more comfortable with them. The beauty of this is that you can always rewind and start from the beginning. I hope this has been informative for you and I could thank you for viewing.